In today's video, we're going to go over four different tips that are going to help you have a more consistent devotional time. Let's get it. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is James Howard Jr., and you're tuned in to another episode of Nuggets with Jr. I'd like to thank you for joining us on this video today. Now, let's be real. It can be hard to have a consistent devotional or quiet time with God throughout the week. I mean, we're busy, right? I go to church on Sunday, maybe go on Wednesday. Isn't that enough? We got school, we got work, we got to eat, we got to take a bath, we got a whole bunch of stuff that we have to do. But if you click on this video, you know the importance of carving out time to spend with God throughout the week. And it's in those personal times with God where we can find ourselves growing the most spiritually. So today I have four tips that are going to help you have a more consistent devotional time. Number one, you have to find a time that works. Are you a morning person? Top of the morning to you. Or are you a night owl? I live for the night. Find a time of the day where you can carve out time to be available to God. Maybe that means waking up a little bit early. Or maybe that means turning off Netflix for a little bit. Number two. Find a place that works for you. Maybe it's your favorite chair in the house. Maybe it's somewhere out on the porch. Maybe it's your favorite coffee shop. And if you live in a house with a whole bunch of people, your best place might be the bathroom. Just saying. Find a place that works and make that your consistent place that you go every time. Number three, start small and then work your way up. Maybe it's best for you to start with a small goal and then work your way up. Maybe instead of seven days out of the week starting off, you start off with two days. Do that for about a month or so and then add a day and then keep going until you get to your desired goal. Number four or number four, as some people may say, don't beat yourself up. If you set your goal to have it three to four times a week and you don't meet that goal, don't beat yourself up. If you miss a day, just start the next day. It's okay. God ain't going to be mad at you. Yo, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully those four tips will help you be more consistent with your devotional quiet time with God. If you like this content and you have not already subscribed, I want you to consider subscribing today, turning on those notifications so that you can get more information just like this that'll help you grow in your relationship with God. Until next time, peace.